Hey everyone, how's it going? Got another video here. Uh, this is a huge update from uh, World of Warcraft. As you can see, save the date, the future of Warcraft, uh, future of World of Warcraft, to tell you the truth. Uh, very important I discuss this uh, video with you guys and give you kind of my perspective on what I think is going to happen and what is, you know, a couple dates in mind here that, that uh, Blizzard has come up with. April 19th being one of them, being um, kind of a sneak peek into what's next. But um, this is huge, guys. Huge, huge, huge. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into the video. All right, cool. So as we kind of discuss uh, these kind of things and as they come out, I was kind of searching around on Twitter and stuff and I saw this. Um, Actually, yesterday I was planning on doing a video for you guys like almost immediately because I thought it was very important. This is a huge announcement, as we know, you know, save the date, the future of Warcraft. This was announced yesterday, the 7th. Um, so what it is, basically, they're talking about Hearthstone and how they're going to be kind of, you know, doing some new things for Hearthstone. I used to play Hearthstone in the past and I kind of lost interest into it as it kind of got repetitive for me. Um, so I, it looks like they're going to be um, doing some new things for them. It uh, looks like a Hearthstone Grandmasters uh, is in progress exclusively on YouTube. Um, drops while watching the top players in the world compete for their shot at the playoffs. A share of 250000 American prize pool. So pretty cool. Hearthstone is not really one of the bigger games for me. I don't play it personally. Um, and I don't really have something to tell you guys about that game but it uh, looks like on March 15th they have something that's going to be sharing details about the first three expansions this year for it. So next we get into the worlds of Ward, <laughs> the worlds of World of Warcraft. Wow that's hard to say actually. So on April 19th the World of Warcraft development team will reveal the next expansion. So how exciting is this? We literally just got 9.2 and now we're going to be having the next expansion that's coming out. Exciting, exciting, exciting. I know there's some big things going on 9.25. We got the cross faction coming in that's going to be awesome where it won't really matter too much um, if you're on alliance or on horde you'll be able to see one another be able to play with one another i think it's very important because as we know right now i think about 80 percent of the servers are all horde people so it'll be kind of nice to kind of get that balance more 50 50 but it says they're they're excited to show you what they've been working on and where your adventures in azerath will go next until then we hope you're enjoying eternity's end which is 9.2 newest content update and final chapter of the Shadowlands saga. So Zareth Mortis, I have yet to get into yet. This is something I'm going to be getting into. And I actually have not finished the campaign yet for the Jailer. So I'm still trying to, um, I don't want to, that to be spoiled either. I want to kind of do it live with you guys. But um, yeah, so the way the Sepulcher of the first ones was just announced, you're able to raid that in normal heroic difficulty. And this week they will finally come face to face with the jailer himself as raid finder and mythic difficulties become available. So there's some things going on here. It, it seems like this is pretty cool. Uh, the competition is fierce. W World of Warcraft Esports celebrates 15 years of this April with more seasons of epic competition. That's something I'd love to, you know, take a look. Players to register by March 28th complete the trials have a chance to earn the in-game encrypted banner of the opportune signups. So that would be cool. The Arena World Championship and Mythic Dungeon International are gearing up. So that's pretty awesome that's coming down. And then this was the biggest thing for me. So beyond World of Warcraft and Hearthstone, we're preparing to get the first game in the World the Warcraft universe designed for mobile into your hands. We will tell you more about it in May. So it looks like they've given us a little bit of insight about creating a mobile game. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how they would do World of Warcraft for mobile. I mean, maybe it would be something like um, pets, fighting pets in the game, something along those lines, which I don't find interesting at all for myself, but maybe others do. I don't know how you'd be able to do a raid or, or a mythic dungeon on a phone. That's kind of near impossible. Um, but one thing I would really love to see, and let me know in the comments below, guys, if you're watching this video, is to get rid of add-ons. Like I love it to be just like we don't have to keep downloading add-on after add-on after add-on and literally just have, you know, everyone have the same kind of add-ons that are in-game that are already pre-set up to the game so you don't have to download different add-ons. 
and give that option like just have the option in game where you can toggle it on and off and you don't even need to go and download it or do updates or whatever it automatically updates and this and that so i think that would be kind of cool for something like that to come but this is interesting that they're talking about a mobile experience um, we don't know what that is um, but this is very exciting stuff guys save that date april 19th as it's coming up it's pretty much a month a little bit over a month away they're going to reveal what's going on with 9.25 i think that's going to be one of the biggest patches to date from what i'm seeing you know the cross faction there's that involved there's also probably a couple other things involved that we don't even know about so it'd be kind of cool to see what they're 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 tuning in on and what they're coming up with the developers and designers of blizzard are coming up with and as we know you know um, uh, microsoft has taken over so this will be their first big real thing that they're doing themselves um to kind of stand out who is microsoft and what they're doing for blizzard as they took over so really cool this is really exciting stuff that's coming up i'll make this kind of video i wanted to make it kind of short and to the point but just give you guys insight into what i think um that they're they're going to be doing and and kind of any kind of update that comes in this is huge right and i mean this is very huge it's nice to know that april 19th we're going to get a reveal of the next expansion i have a feeling that it'll probably come in over the summer months um when things are busy i have a feeling that they're you know may it seems like may is going to come in you know something for mobile so they'll probably be i'm only suggesting we're probably june july or august or something is probably when it'll come in but um, I don't know if there's any facts to that, but um, exciting, guys. This is very, very exciting uh, and cool to see what's going to happen with the game moving forward. Those are my thoughts on this, and uh, I really do think this will revamp uh, the World of Warcraft community. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you guys think, what you think is going to be coming in the 9.25 patch. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Please like my video and share my video and, and hit the hit the bell, hit the notification bell and, and follow me on Twitch, guys. Check out my Twitch link. Um, I'm going to be streaming over the weekends, every single weekend, Saturday nights, Sunday nights from 7.30 p.m. Pacific time onwards. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I look forward to, help, to um, providing you guys more insights and updates along the way. Okay. Thanks for now, and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace out from Frozen Orb. Peace.